Well, hey there, church. Hope you're doing really well this week. And uh, just wanted to connect with you following Vision Sunday. How good was it to gather together again just to see um, so many families and just people back from holidays and as you know, youth and kids were kicking off and just to gather together and to really hear from the Lord through Pastor John and uh, to go. This is where we're going as a church this year. So uh, if you weren't here and you missed it, I would highly, highly recommend jumping on our, our YouTube channel or jumping on our website under messages and uh, listening to that vision because we all have a part to play in this. And if River Life is your church home, then uh, we'd love to invite you to be on board with us. And uh, Pastor John, he obviously spoke uh, predominantly out of Mark 4, 5 and 6 and just that great story that we all know about, um, you know, Jesus calming the storm and the disciples crossing over to the other side of, of the lake and just um, the, the wrestle that, that would have been for them and the fears that they faced. Uh, but then obviously what we hear of the amazing testimony of the man who was delivered and set free and saved and who shared his story with a whole region who came to know Jesus. And, uh, and so we were really just impacted by that as a church community and have felt that the Lord's been leading us into this for some time. So uh, you might see here we're standing on this jetty that's pointed out that we're setting sail, you know, for the unreached, for the other side that we're seeking as a church to really cross over uh, into uh, maybe some uncharted waters and places that we haven't been before and to really seek and to save the lost in our city, um, to meet the needs of the community, to, to help pastor our, our great community and to uh, also see uh, people who are hungry for the Lord really released as revivalists uh, to the nations, including ours, of course. And so, uh, yeah, we want to invite you to be a part of it. And uh, he issued the challenge for us this week um, to really ask yourself, what does the other side look like? What does it look like to go to the other side, to cross over maybe to, uh, to go where you haven't been before? And what are some of the fears that might get in the way of you sharing your story of faith uh, so that someone, just maybe one person uh, in your community, whether it's right across your front lawn in your school and your sphere of influence uh, might know this good news that we profess, particularly for such a time as this. Uh, so get stuck into it, church. I pray that um, we you know, have a week of, of gathering. Maybe your small groups have started up or life groups and um, maybe you are you know, got, got time to just really sit with the Lord and, and to really reflect and get honest um, so that His Spirit can, can really speak to you. But um, what an exciting time to gather together. What an incredible time of worship we had and of just prayer and reflection and, and time to really go, hey, we are hoisting ourselves. We want to catch the wind of His Spirit. We want to be empowered by His Spirit, um, be about His kingdom business and um, and really go to where He's calling us. And so uh, we're excited to keep unpacking that in these coming weeks. Look forward to meeting with you, whether that's here in person or online. Um, but so good church, jump into it. Uh, we're excited for 2022 and uh, we love you heaps this week. Really praying for you that the Lord uh, would just be present with you in a really special way. And um, thanks for, for joining with us and we'll, we'll see you soon.